Demi Lovato's backup dancer being blamed for her overdose finally speaks out. Plus, we've got an update on how Demi is reacting and who has not left her side. Aw, oh, and Kylie Jenner went on a little shopping spree with Stormy this weekend, and people are not pleased. And now Kourtney Kardashian is the one begging Eunice Benjamin not to break up with her post-comment drama. We're talking about all of these stories right now on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. Happy Monday, you guys. Welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Kate DeRocher. Okay, the first thing we're talking about is Demi Lovato because, uh. as you all know, Demi was hospitalized last week after an apparent drug overdose. So sad. We still don't really know what exactly caused the overdose. That has not been confirmed, but we do know um, that she had been struggling weeks prior to this happening with partying and relapsing. Um, and one of those people being blamed for Demi slipping back into her old habits was her backup dancer, Danny Vitale. And Kate, I know you covered all the craziness I she was did. receiving. I did. I did. The poor girl had posted an Instagram thanking Demi for such a special birthday, and people took that as her saying that her and Demi were out partying all night, and as a result, that's how Demi ended up in the hospital, which, if you ask me, is super unfair to put that on somebody. That's such right. a big thing to accuse them of. But people went off on her, commenting nonstop, accusing her of terrible things, and Poor girl's radio silent until now. Until now. now. Um, like exactly what Kate said, the hate just got out of control. Uh. And Danny finally spoke out on Instagram. She posted a statement saying, quote, I care about Demi just like all of you do. I have not said anything about the situation until now because her recovery has been of the most importance. Which is great, especially because I know Danny and Demi are really close. They've mm -hmm. been, people have speculated that they were dating in the past because they posted pictures that were really lovey-dovey, super cute, but so they definitely have a really strong bond. So I can only imagine how hard this is for Danny. Absolutely. She went on to say that she was actually not with Demi when the incident happened. Definitely wanted to make sure she clarified yeah. that and that she has nothing but love for her. She then went on to remind people that there is no need for more negativity and to remember that lovotics are all about love. Exactly. Um, she also asked that people continue to send Demi love during her recovery. And I will say it sounds like everyone's positive thoughts and prayers are mm -hmm. getting to Demi as she's now kind of having time to react and process the situation yeah. just like we've been doing the past, uh, I don't know, five, seven days. Um, a source spoke to E! News and said, quote, this is obviously Obviously a huge wake up call. Demi doesn't want to die and she's grateful to be alive. Yeah, I think it was just a big mistake. She messed up. It happened. She learned from it and she's gonna bounce back. Exactly. A separate source spoke to Hollywood Life and said, quote, Demi is trying her best not to be too hard on herself right now. She knows that addiction is a disease and that it is something she's going to have to battle for the rest of her life. And Aww. I think that is such a true testament. It doesn't matter how many years you're sober, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter how long you go without, you know, just kind of testing the waters. It is a lifelong yeah. It's disease. a disease. It, it's a brain condition. It's something that she's going to have to deal with, but at least she knows what to do and how to get through it, and she will. Yes, and she has the best cheerleader by her mm -hmm. side. Um, Wilmer Valderrama, her ex, he has been there for her literally since the day after she got into the hospital. So, so sweet. Um, as you guys know, he reported that he went and visited her the day after she was admitted, and now they've reported over the weekend that he was seen visiting her multiple times and that he is teaming up with her family to support her. I love um, that. On this I next. love that so much. My friend's a publicist, and she can confirm that Wilmer has been by her side nonstop. Yeah. So that is huge. He was in for an ex. Yeah, absolutely. He was oh. instrumental in the first time around of her getting yeah. sober. And to know that he is going to be there for her this time, yeah. I have so much respect for him. Mm. And I know that this is a long way away, but I really hope that at the end of all of this, they can be together. Me because too. Because I'm almost romantic. They're perfect together. Yes. Okay, now on to a little lighter news. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> Kylie Jenner. So over the weekend, Kylie was seen taking Stormy shopping, which is a totally normal activity, right? Especially for Kylie. Yeah, they go shopping all the time. <laughs> However, what she was shopping for has people calling her a pretty nasty name. Everyone's calling her a narcissist. Yeah, if you guys bold, don't know what that claim. means, it's basically someone who's obsessed with themselves, which I mean, let's, yeah, maybe. Well, when you're Snapchatting like this all day, yeah. I can see. Look at my lip fillers. Exactly. Um, because the reason why they're calling her this, Kylie was on a mission to find specific magazines. Yes, the magazines that she's been covering the past couple weeks. She took to her Snapchat to share her plans. Okay, so me, Stormy, and Jordan are going to the closest magazine stand and picking up the Forbes situation. Then she's like, oh, me and Jordan and Stormy. <laughs> like, you can tell she has no idea that she's just about to get, like, so oh, no. much hate. She thinks this is so normal. <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with this. Which nothing I get. Wrong. I'd probably be like, woo, look at me too. But yeah. I would too if it was my first one. Yes. I think if it was my first one and I would, like, film myself, like, going to buy one. Yeah. 
But that's not what or, she did. Or just like a picture of the cover yeah. and call it a day. Oh, for sure. But, but it was no. a whole ordeal. It was a whole ordeal, and Jordan Woods documented everything on her Snapchat. She captured Kylie clearing out all of the GQ issues. I said that so weird. GQ? GQ. GQ issues of her and her baby daddy, Travis Scott. I, like, literally. Uh, uh, that's what's awkward. I feel like buying one or two. Cool. Great. I agree. Nice memento, but all of them, where, where, do you, where is she even going to put them? Well, and I'm also like, Okay. Stormy, is she really going to be like all into that when she's older? Because if I were in her position and I was like 12 and I saw that, I would die. my parents were like that and I'd be like, eh, I would literally mortified. die. I could never see that, look at them the same way ever again. No, it would be so weird. And then she went on to buy every last issue of her Forbes cover. Again, weird. This one I can see a little bit more because it'll be like, oh, Stormy, look what mommy accomplished at such a young age. But still, I'm just like. We only need one magazine to show Stormy one. that, not all of them. We only need one. She gets one. it. People were going off. They were tweeting, saying things like, talk about being a narcissist and narcissist nepotism. And this little doozy, narcissism is genetic in that family. So do you, think, do you think she deserves this hate for this little shopping uh, spree? I think she maybe was a little bit tone deaf about what she was doing, but I, agree. I don't think she, I mean, she's maybe a little bit of a narcissist, but we don't have to be so mean. I agree. I think, I think what you said, if she went and bought one, okay, yeah. I can see That's it. That's fine. Kinda, I would too. Kind of, kind of, kind of, but I'm like, girl, when are you going to learn? Don't document everything. You're just opening the door for people yeah. to hate. Everybody is watching you, so you need to be a little bit more careful. Exactly. Okay. Last but not least, let's talk about Courtney. So by now, everyone knows the comment drama that went down between Courtney oh, and Eunice. If you don't, so bad. have you been on the internet? <laughs> um, Eunice commented on Courtney's butt picture, saying, "Oh my gosh, is this what you need to do to get likes?" And then he commented on a second picture, one that she's more covered up, a few days later. So shortly after all of that went down, we heard several reports that Courtney was pretty annoyed with Eunice and his incessant commenting, Which obviously. I agree with because now everybody can see that and that just looks bad for them as a couple. So Absolutely. Eunice, what are you thinking? Absolutely. A source told E that Courtney didn't, quote, appreciate nope. Eunice posting his feelings in her comment section and that she was, quote, frustrated. Of course. Rightfully so. Days later, a separate source spoke to Hollywood Life and said that Eunice was working overtime trying to get back into Courtney's good graces. The source said that Eunice had been texting Courtney up apologizing nonstop and sending flowers, but despite all of that, you know, she wasn't just feeling the forgiveness. Courtney's always pretty hard. She doesn't she forgive very is. easily. No, but now I think she's held a grudge a little too long and she's realizing that because Eunice is over it. Yep. And now she's the one having to beg him not to walk out the door, which oh. I get. It's like she wanted to teach him a lesson, but sometimes that goes a yeah. little too far. Yeah, you, you can teach a lesson, but then forgive and move on. Holding it over his head isn't chilly. No, either. and it's not it's not going well for her. No. A source spilled the beans to Radar Online saying, quote, she's finally having to realize that Eunice won't stay quiet and be pushed around or associated with anything he deems sleazy. This is kind of rough, but the source went on to reveal that despite Eunice claiming his original comment was a joke, it definitely was not because, quote, he has strict values and it stings him to see her acting like a cheap bimbo. Okay, that's where I draw the line. He posts the same type <laughs> of pictures. My stomach hurts so right like, there. I agree. Talk about a double standard. Like, mm -hmm. she can post what she wants and he has no right to say anything. I completely agree. He's only about going against his values when it's like, oh, her. check out my 12 pack, yeah. you know? Like, but Courtney does one thing and it's like, oh my God, you're, you're bimbo. Like, that's not fair you're at all. Slutty. No. No wonder no. Courtney's mad. I, I agree, but now she's definitely freaking out because despite her trying to stay strong and post what she wants, it sounds like she's willing to give in and give Eunice what he wants. Sounds to me like the whole thing's been blown out of proportion. This fight should have ended like a week ago. I, Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. It ruins everything. The source ended the insider details saying, quote, she'll do anything to stop him from leaving her permanently. Now the ball's in his court, and that is never what a woman wants. No. Let's oh, call it like it is. All the tables have turned. Yes. I, oh, do you, you don't watch The Office, do you? I do, I love you know, The Office. You know when he's like, oh, how the turntables. <laughs> That's all I could think about in the here. entire time that I was reading this story. I don't know, I hope that Instagram doesn't become the ultimate, you know, Demise, oh, what brings this so relationship sad. to an end, but it might happen. 21st you guys. century relationship. It's still guys. going on. All right, you guys, let us know what you think about all of these stories. What do you think about Demi Lovato's backup dancer finally speaking out after being blamed for Demi's overdose? What do you think about Kylie Jenner's little shopping spree with Stormy? Does she deserve all the name calling? And what do you think about Kourtney Kardashian being the one to now beg Eunice Benjamin not to break up with her? Talk about it down there in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys. We are so close to a million. Yay, get us there. Yes. Come on, guys. 
guys. You guys are the absolute best. Tell a friend so we can get there and celebrate all together. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you here tomorrow on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. Bye, guys.